Vision Corporation is a fictitious computer equipment manufacturer making laptop and desktop computers, tablets, and accessories. They provide consulting and training services, are based in the United States, and have a growing international presence. Vision uses the Oracle Planning and Budgeting Cloud Service as its financial planning solution. This video demonstrates some of the ways Vision uses Oracle Planning and Budgeting Cloud Service to plan, forecast, and track their financial performance. Vision is in its Q2 2013 planning cycle and is starting its Q3 forecast cycle and 2014 operating plan. For forecasts, the company uses a 12-month rolling forecast that is updated quarterly or more often to respond to changing market and competitive conditions. Vision uses the Oracle Planning and Budgeting Cloud Service's built-in driver-based capabilities for its plans and forecasts. Revenue is planned by product with assumptions for volume, pricing, and margin. Sales activity of computer equipment drives services revenue. Operating expenses are based on a related driver, such as number of sales calls for travel and entertainment expenses and headcount for office expenses. This video will demonstrate a typical planning process, walking you through a series of steps that a typical planner might follow, such as reviewing instructions, entering assumptions and data, running calculations, reviewing reports, and submitting plans for approval. As you complete your plans, you can add comments, attach documents, and add supporting detail to give more color to the plan information you enter. You use data validation rules to check for certain conditions which alert you when you create a plan that falls outside Vision's guidelines. For example, you may be required to add a comment to justify certain expenses that exceed preset spending limits, or a plan submission might be routed to another user outside of the approval path for review and approval of certain expenditures. Oracle Planning and Budgeting Cloud Service tracks budgets by planning units. A planning unit is a slice of data at the intersection of a scenario, for example, plan, a version, for example, first pass, and an entity or part of an entity, for example, a department or business unit. It is the basic unit for all activities involving plan data. The planning unit moves from one reviewer to another until the budget process is complete. The review process follows the approval path set up by Vision's planning administrator unless an event triggers a change in the approval path. The administrator can set up task lists to help with budget cycles. For example, a task might help you complete forms, launch business rules, or submit planning units for approval. Tasks can display instructions, due dates, completion dates, and alerts. They can include web pages, forms, approvals, business rules, or descriptions. First, let's provide explanations for significant variances. Variances are flagged using data validation. In this case, any negative variance greater than 10% is flagged, and an explanation is required. With the Planning and Budgeting Cloud Service, you can design forms that include predefined validation rules to help implement business policies and practices. You can specify cell colors and messages to be displayed if a validation rule is violated. Organizations plan revenue using different methods. At Vision, product revenue is calculated from units and average sales price. You can change your assumptions about volume, pricing, and gross margin for each product, or right-click and change drivers on the Revenue Assumptions form. Using Grid Spread, you can adjust the total value and have it spread back to all of the underlying periods and products. You can make changes by amount or percent, up or down, and spread the change in different ways. The affected cells change color until you either save or refresh the form. The forms are designed to display a slice of the available data filtered by product family. To display a different product family, click the product family, 
select a different product family in the dialog box, click Add, and then OK. The form displays figures for the new product family. This helps users to focus on only the portion of the data they need. Operating expenses are made up of compensation, capital expenditures, and office expenses. Organizations plan operating expenses in many ways. This application uses a driver-based approach. Expense drivers are used to generate operating expenses. For example, the number of sales calls and travel percentage can be used to derive travel and entertainment expenses. When you make changes to these drivers, operating expenses are automatically recalculated. The F next to the sales call account indicates that it is a derived value. Clicking it displays the formula used to derive the value. In this case, the figure is derived from total unit sales for the year, average order size, close percentage, leads generated, and leads requiring an in-person visit. The Capital Expenditure Plan form calculates depreciation for new capital assets by asset class and useful life. Cells colored blue contain supporting detail. Supporting detail allows you to enter your own calculations below the account level to document plan details, in this case indicating that the new laptops number is derived by purchasing three laptops at $2,000 each. You can also attach documents or URLs to a data cell. The Operating Expense Plan form shows the calculation of expenses based on the drivers and rates for each account. The administrator selects the method to use to calculate the rate, for example, last year actual, a rate, such as percent of revenue or an inflation factor, and the driver. To override or adjust these derived amounts, you can enter new values for the driver rates or you can simply change the values in the year total column. The revised plan column is the sum of the original plan and the adjusted plan. The plan adjustment percent column shows the percentage difference of the adjusted plan from the original and if the difference is significant, a data validation message will ask you to add a comment to justify your change. The Review Plan versus Target form compares the bottom-up plan to top-down targets set by senior management. On this form, there is a data validation that checks for an out-of-tolerance condition. In this example, if there is a negative variance of more than 10%, the user will not be able to submit the plan until adjustments are made. The Integrated Financial Reporting feature produces boardroom quality presentations that can be delivered in a variety of formats, including HTML, PDF, and Microsoft Office. These reports can be distributed as live data or as static snapshots of data at specific points in time. You can interact with them by changing report selections, page members, and navigation options. Finally, you can submit plans to reviewers or approvers. Planning units can be submitted individually or as a group, for example, sales. When you do this, the sales regions can be submitted for approval to the finance management group. The validate icon will indicate whether there are any conditions that need to be met, for example, an additional level of approval before you can submit the plan. You can also add an annotation with comments on your plan. For more information about planning and budgeting cloud service or other Oracle products, please refer to the web link shown here and available on the EPM Products YouTube channel page.